Hi, Andrew Dolson here with Symbology, and today we're going to be learning some tips and tricks to use with the Bartender Printing Program. Let's get started. So today we're going to go ahead and create an SCC 128 label. We'll start by choosing the barcode tool, grab the code 128, which is the basis of the SCC 128 label. Then we'll do a right button click and go to properties. And under the properties for the barcode, we'll be able to use the GS1128 checkbox. And when you do that, it also lights up your application identifier data source wizard. This is what we're going to use to create the label. So let's go ahead and open that up. And in here are all your application identifiers. Now your application identifiers that you use in your SCC 128 label are going to be defined by the customer. The customer may say, I need the part number, I need the serial number, and I need the expiration date, or I need the G10 and the batch number and the serial number. So whatever you want to put into the SCC 128 label, you choose here but it's really set by your customer's requirements. There is no single SCC 128 uh, label that is used more than others. Everyone is different and you just have to meet your customer's requirements. So let's go ahead and start building this SCC 128. We're gonna start by choosing our G10. So the application identifier for that is gonna be 01. We're going to go ahead and start through the wizard and click through as we add more items to the label. Um, so after the 01 is added, we need to put in the actual G10. You may pull this down from a database. In fact, most times you're going to pull it from a database. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and fill in some embedded data. Here's where you can actually change your embedded data if you wanted to. And now we're done with the first section of this SCC 128 label. We have our application identifier. We have our G10. Now we need to go on to the next one. So up here, it gives you the choice of yes, I want to add more or no, because I'm done. We're going to choose yes, and we're going to do this two more times. So the next thing we're going to add on this particular label is going to be the batch number. Um, for batch number, the number is 10. Again, we're just going to follow through the prompts. The wizard's very easy to use. Normally a database field. We're going to do embedded data. Again, we're at the end of this section. Now we have two application identifiers and two sections of data. We're going to go ahead and add a third. And this time we'll put in a serial number, application identifier 21. Bring in our embedded data. And at this point, I'm going to say we're done. So I'm going to choose no, I don't need it need anymore. It'll bring me through to the finish and put my label on the actual screen. I'm going to drag it into place here. You can see this particular label is a little bit too big for the label. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the side bars and shrink it down. It's going to shrink down to a size that your printer is capable of printing. So again, when you're first setting up your label, you choose your printer first, then your label size, and that's going to affect what the label can actually print, because Bartender will not let you print a label that cannot be read. It does this by having you choose the printer ahead of time. So here you have your SCC 128 label that we just created. Give us a call at Symbology Enterprises. We'll help you through the process to make sure it's a fit for you.